Okay, the uh, pH there seems to be, it's green, so it's about four, which is good. If you add some uh, potash, you'll get it lower and um, give it some bite, sort of thing. But we might do that. I don't think you actually need to do that, but we'll try that out, and then if this works, um, I think you're going to, as I said, I think you're going to get a surprise on this one. We're going to stick some capes in it, and they're not going to look back, and we're going to, we're going to be scratching our head, how come it was so easy and also so hard? And I was saying, well, you know, that's what the science was saying, that's why everything was in the wrong end of my book. We were thinking salt, and we should have been thinking universal surfactant. One has osmolarity, one has, um, uh, you know, well, <coughs> salinity and yeah and we know that osmolality is twice that of salinity you know and then then that should be the the light bulb moment of how you can get better growth bigger better color than faster color out in the wild because you know you can turn 22 grams to the liter and put potassium amendment into 44 grams to the liter. in other words it's above seawater sort of strength you know and we already know that uh, you know, uh, Saracenia can handle 33, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, can handle seawater strength sort of thing. So can you imagine, you know, can you imagine 66 grams to the litre of a Saracenia? You can imagine how big and how you can grow a massive plant in a very small pot, as I, <laughs> I think other people have been doing in the past, you know. All this slow release of fertiliser pellets, I think it's all a load of bunkum really. Yeah, that's just that's just the icing on the cake of what they're really doing. So we're gonna, I think I think we're going to get a surprise, and the people who are out there have their, have their eyes open will be able to start connecting the dots and say, "Yeah, you're right. I saw this, or I I, I watched that, or something or other." <laughs> it's a, it goes back to those things with the liverworts. Liverworts don't lie. It was all this, is it snow, are they snail pellets in the pot? Or are they osmocotes? Snail pellets, osmocotes. And it was like a ruse, <laughs> uh, libtar, lib, libtardistan ruse, you know. <laughs> Cafefe with Dave, yeah, I really enjoy some of his stuff. <laughs> I can't wait. I reckon he's going to have a heart attack if it goes down the way we think he's going to go down today. <laughs> oh! I mean, can you imagine if he just points to the you know, one of those guards in the, in the room and, and just says, "Take her out." And he's the you know, he's the commander in chief. Yes. Yeah. Well, and the bottom is the, the, the soldier says, "Yes, sir." It was something like that. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> oh, gee. I mean, that would put everyone in their place, wouldn't it? Well, you know, <laughs> she deserves the answer, doesn't she? Oh, some of the stuff she's done over the years. But as I said, I think it's Haiti, really. That's a that's that's the death sentence. I mean, that's treason to the other country, which means it's also, if you're head of state, that's treason to the United States, aren't you? You're putting the United States in bad reputation, you know? I mean, that's worse than the worst. You know? Can you imagine that some of those spies must have died in really horrible, you know, with that un, you know, uncorrupted server? Some of the US spies must have died in horrible, horrible ways, you know? So, uh, yeah, it, it, just for that reason alone, I think she did, uh, you know, what the fuck is that? A bit of rubbery stuff in there. What the heck? What the heck is that? Oh, it must have been in the sand, I reckon. But I don't even put, didn't put it in there. Probably a bit of clay or something. Strange. Anyway, I think this is, um, I think this is fine, actually. I think we'll um, put this in the uh, the old bucket and uh, wash it through and, um, We'll see. You never know, the colour might change even more, you never know. I like the sort of, you know, it's almost got a iron sulfide -y sort of, you know, false gold sort of tint to it, isn't it? So, uh, anyway, I'll just turn the camera off and wash my hands. I think I'll probably use the back of this spoon better. So, uh, yeah, I think this is, uh, is going to be the turning point, the, the, the eye opener sort of thing. Uh, suddenly we switch from the ideas of and say, oh, okay, it's not uh, the reason they are so tolerant of salt and it's all in the same ratio as seawater and blah blah blah, and you know the things with copper and nickel are so close to one another. It's all pointing in, and why everything in the book, books are in the wrong are there, but they're in the wrong section of the book. They're in the alkaline section of the book, and yeah. I think we're going to find out. Yeah, 
why well, you no know, one can grow them in cultivation because they're looking them as complete the wrong sort of plants on him. We should be thinking, well they are glycophytes, well, known to be glycophytes, but it's glycophytes in a different way. They're not manufacturing their, their, their sugars, I don't think. They're actually, they're absorbing the sugars from the soil, basically. I think that's what's really going on. And that's why they have these glands, because that's how they can control the organism. Yeah. Okay, got more details on that in the thesis, I suppose. The experimentation, just to show you how it works, I think. Okay, everyone out now, see ya.